Hi everyone, my name is Joanne Kennedy and I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia and I specialise in methylation and histamine intolerance. One of the most common questions I get asked from my patients is should I take vitamin C for histamine intolerance? And the answer depends on what is driving the histamine intolerance. So if histamines are being released from mast cells, then yes, Vitamin C can help because vitamin C reduces the degranulation of mast cells. However, if the histamine is being driven from other cells, particularly gut cells or smooth muscle cells, so they're not mast cells, what, what happens with these cells is that histamine is made on the spot when there is inflammation and they will create histamine and release histamine on the spot so they don't store it like mast cells do. So his, uh, vitamin D doesn't work on stabilizing these cells because they're not granulating cells. Okay, so vitamin C will help a mast cell driven histamine issue. Okay, so I do use a lot of vitamin C though in my clinic. It's really good for getting the bowels moving. Okay, so people with constipation are going to have issues with detoxification of estrogen and that will build up histamine. And also, if you have gut issues such as methane-driven, methane SIBO, which can cause chronic constipation, you need to be getting your bowels moving at the same time as you're treating the methane SIBO, because if you don't get your bowels moving, you're not going to be sweeping out the, the dead bacteria that you're killing off with herbs or um, undigested food. So it's very hard to get rid of SIBO if you're constipated. Okay, so vitamin C is also really good for the adrenals. Okay, stress is a major cause of histamine intolerance. We need to be working on people's stress response and adrenal function. Okay, so many uses for vitamin C. It's, it is not just because it's an antihistamine. It does stabilize mast cells, but it's not going to impact the, cell, the other cells that are going to be releasing histamine.